Drive along California's Pacific Coast Highway, and you'll catch some of America's most iconic views. But sometimes, the highway just disappears. Like this, and this, and these. The Mud Creek landslide wiped out over a quarter mile of the highway. Cleaning up that disaster took more than a year, and $54 million. So why does this highway keep failing? And can anything be done to stop it? The Pacific Coast Highway, also known as Highway 1, stretches 656 winding miles through California. Construction started in 1919 and got a big funding boost during the New Deal era of the 1930s. But Highway 1 isn't your typical drive from point A to point B highway. It's a bucket list road trip kind of highway. Its most selfied section is Big Sur, a dramatic coastline hugging stretch that's also a favorite spot for car commercials. These stunning vistas draw an estimated five to six million visitors a year. Those are Grand Canyon numbers. But this stretch of highway probably shouldn't exist. West Coast is still active geologically. It's a place where plates have collided. We've got active faults. If you look at the Big Sur Coast, I'd say this is one of the longest stretches and most unstable sections of coastline. Professor Gary Griggs is a geologist who spent his career becoming an expert on the West Coast's volatility. The Big Sur stretch of Highway 1 is the section most prone to collapse. 2024 alone saw two separate road closures, one of which still hasn't reopened. This 77-mile area has over 1,500 documented landslides. To understand Big Sur's issues, though, we have to look back millions of years. California's craggy coastline looks the way it does because the Pacific Plate and the North American Plate have spent eons scraping alongside each other. Big Sur is special, though, because of a 65-mile stretch of fault line dubbed the Big Sur Bend. The two plates push into each other, building up pressure at this fault line kink. This creates steeper cliffs, bigger peaks, and a total mess of rocks that get churned up from the Earth's crust. Just 30 miles north on the Monterey Peninsula, the underlying rock is one solid type, granite. Solid as a rock. But Big Sur is a who's who of rocks from your middle school earth science class. And this hodgepodge makes the earth less stable. Almost like taking your windshield and impacting it, you get a lot of cracks. It doesn't fall apart, but it cracks. And that's what the earth is like in there. It's just really broken up. Big Sur has always been a volatile place, but this rock mixture doesn't explain the whole picture. Griggs says conditions are getting worse, thanks to humans. To build the highway, engineers dug out loads of dirt and rocks, which reshaped the ground and made some sections weaker. And in recent years, this region has been battered by climate change. Wildfires char the trees and expose the soil on steep slopes. Without plants to absorb the atmospheric river's rainfall, the ground turns into a muddy mess. Those same storms generate towering waves that pound and road the coastline. Add all of that together, and you have a recipe for landslides. The monstrous Mud Creek Slide was originally a slow-moving, stable landslide, but drought and extreme rain sped that process up. I was down there in 1973. <laughs> Mud flows went right through the village of Big Sur and just buried all those buildings right up to the rooftops. But the ones most recently have been real massive. If you're wondering what's the solution, you're not alone. And that's because there really aren't any. We could build a tunnel like the one created to avoid an area known as Devil's Slide, but that two mile project costs nearly half a billion dollars. A tunnel to bypass Big Sur would be up to 75 miles long. Plus it would miss the views, which is what moving the road more inland would do too. We could treat Big Sur like any other major tourist destination and charge an entrance fee to generate enough money for cleanup. This seems like the most reasonable solution, given that we're not going to easily give up these views. But climate change and our attempts to pave our way through nature are reminding us that we may not be able to enjoy these views forever. At least not until we figure out a more sustainable future. If you want to learn about the simple but brilliant new way that California is using solar panels, check out our video here. And be sure to subscribe for more science and discovery stories.